So morning guys, welcome back to the channel. So just going to do an update video today of some upgrades that I'm having done to the car. Uh, the car's going in for its kind of first round of proper bona fide upgrades next week. So quite excited about that. I'm just going to go through what upgrades I'm having done and why. So all the upgrades are being done by Litchfield. Um, I kind of was wavering between them and Thorny, Thorny Motorsport. Um, but Litchfield presented quite a nice package um, to me um, that I just felt comfortable with and I was getting kind of pretty much the exact products that I wanted um, so I decided to go with them however both companies um, have an awesome reputation and that's not to say that I won't be using Thorny in the future so what are we having done to the car well, the first set of uh, upgrades are going to be uh, with relation to the suspension. Um, the dampers on the car are awesome, um, but having done some reading, uh, we can improve handling and geo to a certain extent. Um, so we're going to pay some attention to that. So the first thing I'm going to be having done is I'm going to have a set of KW adjustable springs fitted to the car. Um, the KW kit seems to be one of the best options in the market. It's quite unique in that it uses the existing dampers but allows adjustment of ride height. Um, we'll be dropping the car slightly, not a huge amount, but you can see we've got some wheel gap there from a cosmetic perspective. Um, the car's probably going to be dropped about 15 to 20, mil 20 millimeters. Um, that puts it down to a similar height of the 600 off the floor. Um, lowers your center of gravity and should improve handling and what's more important than anything else is it'll make it look really cool um, really trust KW uh, I've had their products before generally really well made and thought out so looking forward to getting those fitted in conjunction with the KW springs um, as you can see if you look down the sideline of the car the wheels are quite inset um, and another popular upgrade is spacers. So they are in conjunction with the springs, going to fit me spacers. Front and rear, I believe they're about 10 mils, so that's quite a lot to anything that I've done previously. Um, but I'm told reliably that that is a popular upgrade. Um, obviously, it's going to push the wheels out into the wheel arches. It'll make the car look more on its haunches, and on top of that, it in improves handling. Um, so that's gonna be really cool. Uh, after all those little bits added, uh, they're also gonna do a full geo and corner weight on the car. So it's doing its best on its new springs and spaces. Um, the car hasn't been geoed to this point, so there's no doubt more that we can eke out of the car with regards to the way it goes through the corners. Moving on from suspension and handling, uh, we're going to go inside the engine compartment as well. And what we're going to have done in there is I'm going to have a set of sports cats fitted. Now, stock cats are notoriously known to be quite restrictive restricting the airflow and the movement of gases out of the system and we can quite easily uh, with very little pain garner more power out of the same power plant simply by increasing that airflow and that expel of gases um, for that reason the sports cats uh, 200 cell sports cats I'm having fitted will let more air out of the system out of the exhaust system and allow the car to be tuned to produce more comfortable power. Um, the product I decided to go for uh, was Lurini. Um, the reason why I picked Lurini simply was it was a known brand and it seemed to be relatively good value uh, com in comparison to some of the other alternatives on the market. Um, it's trusted and yeah, it just seemed to be a good uh, price known brand compromise. So after the sports cats are fitted, what else is happening? So as we're increasing the airflow and the ability of the engine to breathe more efficiently, I thought, what the hell, let's go in and let's do an ECU tune. So um, 
Litchfield have uh, done quite a lot of tuning on McLarens. They have a heavily modified GT, uh, 570 GT, like mine. Um, it's actually reliably outputting over 700 horsepower. Um, won't be getting quite that high because that car has different turbos on it as well. Um, but we should be getting up towards 700 horsepower um, with the stage 2 tune from them. Um, the other benefit of the tune is that you should get more torque lower down the rev range. Um, and apparently it makes quite an astonishing difference to the way in which the car drives and the throttle responds. Um, so really kind of excited about that. It's quite a comprehensive set of little upgrades um, to the car. Going to change the stance of the car, change the handling of the car and produce more power. So really quite excited. Uh, the other thing I haven't confirmed yet, but I'm toying with the idea, is changing the back exhaust system. Um, the one I'm quite tempted to get is the Akrapovic slip-on titanium system. Uh, I really like Akrapovic products. I've had them before. Um, I really like the look of the tips on that product. Um, being a flash git, uh, I quite like the idea of having a titanium system in the car. Um, it also uh, reduces the uh, weight by about 7 kilos, so that's another nice little benefit. Um, but they are a lot of money, and uh, I haven't decided 100% on that. So guys, I'll be doing an update video, obviously, after all the work's done. Um, I'm ho hoping to have a big, happy, smiley face um, driving the car home from Litchfield. Um, for me, it's about a two-hour drive. Uh, it's about five days worth of work. Uh, they are giving me a hire car and I'll update you again soon guys when those upgrades have been done. Okay, have a great day. Any comments, comment below.